What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John for the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. We're out here. We're having a good time today. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to deal with this on Thanksgiving, but um, I had an eight-page paper, so uh, yeah. So I would say sorry and be like more like, oh my god, I'm such a terrible human being for doing my homework and actually my assignments that I was supposed to do. But I actually freaked out because I thought I had math assignment. I didn't. I was like, oh, thank God. But we're fine. So yeah, let's go ahead and speaking of God, our first Pokemon, our lead Pokemon is Satan with Shadow Ball, Diamond Storm, Dragon Pulse, and Psycho Cut. And if you guys didn't notice by the layout, we had a death. And on top of having a death last episode, y'all killed Jolly Roger. So in the blink of an eye, Pin Cushion Cat became our oldest mon. Like, can we talk about that for a minute? Pin Cushion Cat is our oldest mon. The Skitty that evolved into a Del Caddy is the oldest mon. What the heck? What is this? What is this series? That's like the most random Pokemon stay alive, and I love it, but it's just hilarious to me. Uh, but then we have Hentai with Aqua Tail, Sludge Bomb, Defend Order, Toxic Spikes, Poison Hail as an ability. Then we have KD with Unaware, Sacred Sword, Cotton Guard, High Jump Kick, Leaf Blade. Pincushion Cat, of course, we were just talking about her with Facade, Blaze Kick, Fly, Horn Drill. Then we have Sleepy, because that's the state that I'm in right now, but uh, recording and I love you guys and blah, 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 blah. Um, with Covet, Ice Sponge. Sleep Powder and Shell Smash. Y'all knew I had to get another stealing item, right? Like, y'all knew this was gonna happen. This was going to be an eventuality. Um, and while I was training, I could just spam Covet. Yes, that's what we literally. <laughs> that's. <laughs> is it bad? That's like part of the only reason that we did this. But we didn't get anything too interesting. We just got money out of the deal. Honestly, I mean, we just got thirty k out of the deal, and honestly, that's just fine. Like. <laughs> Good job, John. We just got money, you know, the, the essential thing in this game. Um, and then we got Terry um, with Electro Web, Eerie Impulse, Shockwave, and Charge. Absolute hot garbage. The ability that I could have put instead of Leaf Guard is um, Magma Armor, so it can't get frozen, which is honestly was a debate of mine. I actually thought about it. I was like, is this a good idea? Is this not? Ba -ba 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 -ba. And then I was like, no. Honestly, we'll save it for... We, I know we're going to have to use that, like, ability capsule soon, but I'd rather not waste it now. But yeah, so that's our team. That's kind of the way that we have sorted things. But yeah, we have 73k, which is whoop whoop for us, because that's a lot of money. And it's like, you kind of got to look at the... Like, we got to look forward. We got to look forward. And we have hyper potions. We got max potions. We got a bunch of stuff. So again, today we're going to kind of get encounters. We're going to sail through. We're going to do whatever we need to. And honestly, I'm feeling good about it. Also, we need to see... Oh, that's right. We have a Master Ball now. Whoopsies! Forgot that existed. Um... But yeah, so and you guys might be asking how the heck I got 30k. I had to train this thing up from level 26, okay? It's a lot of training. And I had it leading most of the time so that I could do that. Because it was a dumb strat that I thought worked. And I just sold everything that I got from it. Because, again, there was a lot of just, like pointless or random things that we don't ever intend on using so great ball premier ball poke ball we don't have much i could have bought more but to be honest i'm not really too necessarily worried i think we got like one encounter today if not two so again nothing to be worried really much about the brunway let's go on the brunway guys Ooh, let's make sure that we don't oh shoot we have three Wait a minute. I might want to go buy more Pokeballs. That might be a thing that I do. Now that I'm looking at it more logically, yeah. Three, th for three encounters, 24 might not cut it. Sharpedo. Hey, look, it's SDS. We love him. He's amazing. Honestly, I have... I have enjoyed SDS, and... Of course, yeah, this. Okay. Well, we start off with KD to begin the episode because, of course, we do because KD is amazing. And honestly, KD has. I don't know. KD. I think KD has Gwen Syndrome. And what I mean by that is that he's lucky with the ability, or with, not with the ability, but with the. Uh, yeah, well, that's right. With the ability he has in this generation, but I think he falls apart later and like the next generation or something like that it's like 
I tried to design this is this is this is me being I'm giving you some deeds. I tried to arrange oh well we're staying in. I tried to arrange my team in a matter of what would you guys kill? I wanted more predictability. Let's be honest. I wanted to have more predictability. And so because of that, I added some Pokemon that I was like, okay, yeah, you guys are probably gonna kill this if you get the chance. Um, except for I didn't expect uh, Raikou to be absolute garbage, but you know, I can't predict everything. So <laughs> if I could predict everything, I'd be 160 something. I think maybe even 180 something in O in our freaking Pick'em's League. But you know, can't predict them all. It's fine. Um, ooh. Ooh. Well, what is an annoying Pokemon for us to face right now? Um. The normal typing is what's getting to me. I think it's normal. I mean, I'm going to guess normal psychic, which is actually probably the better of the two typings, in my opinion, but. Look at me go. I know my stuff. I try. Um, I'm back on top, man. Ugh, my teeth hurt. Um, it's kind of one of those situations where it's just like, I don't know what's going to happen or how this is going to work or X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D of what's going to happen. How is my team going to function? What is this? Why is that? How is this? What is the point? X, Y, yeah, like I said, X, Y, Z and all the above. So, what I see out of this team is the potential of dominance, right? And the potential of powering through and doing what needs to be done to win the game. And, again, our next level cap is like 50-something. So that's why I'm trying to avoid most of the battles, if you guys haven't didn't notice that already. I'm, like, trying to, like, skip and weave and bob and all that. So, in doing such... Ooh, can I actually do this the way I want? Oh, I don't have a surfer. <laughs> Can I do this the way I want to do it? No, you can't, because you don't have a surfing mon. Oh, it's Babe. I gotta catch it. It's Babe. We don't have a fire type either, so, like, actually, type diversity! We're catching this under the guise of type diversity, y'all. That's how this works, okay? It's just like how people do things under the guise of health. Like, we just gotta catch this under the guise of type diversity. And I don't know what it's gonna have, but it's nothing that I'm worried about, and I love it. Oh, look, Fusion Flare. Uh, I mean, I'm not really worried about it because it's not a special attacker, but still, like, hi, Fusion Flare. How are you today? I didn't expect you to be alive. Uh, but yeah, like I said, with 25 Pokeballs and a Master Ball, I don't want to use my Master Ball on stuff today. That's the goal, of course. Unless I get something that it's like, yes, you're a powerhouse, you gotta be caught and do your thing, and it's just like, okay. But, oh, that's two straight special fire moves. I am not the biggest fan of that. I don't like that. Come on, Mr. Reptush. You gotta be nice to me. You gotta be nice to me. I, I mean, I don't... I don't know if I want it, honestly. Two special fire moves, and it's using them like it's it's like it's the last-ditch effort. And that's, that's not good. Because if it's using it like it's a last-ditch effort, what it needs to do then right then and there it is admitting that it does not have I stand corrected <laughs> okay um why didn't you do that initially okay like what was the point of waiting on that like okay like I can kind of understand but like sacred fire is ultimately going to be better for you in all literally all cases why did it wait to reveal that I almost didn't oh I literally almost said no to it under that guise, and I would have been mad if I would have figured that out later on, that it had foul play and sacred fire. Like, it's actually usable. It wanted, it wanted to make sure that I valued it. That's exactly, you know what? Who, what do I name this Pokemon? It wanted to make sure that I had had the ability to place value on it before catching. Who's a diva? Like, who is it? Okay, I have an, I have an answer to this question, 
but I'm not gonna do it. I don't have the guts to do that. Um, who is a total diva? Hmm. I know one that I might do. Oh no, I also know who a total diva is, and it'd be funny. You are a total diva. You're a Leo. You're a fire sign. There we go. And you're my horse, so that's fine. Um, It works in multiple avenues, which is the names that I like. I like... I don't know if y'all are the same way, but I really like when names kind of line... Like, dually line up. Because to me, it's just like, oh, cool. They dually line up. They do what they're supposed to. And that's really nice and neat and cool. And I probably didn't need to do that, actually. That was a waste of a forest floor. I don't want to fight that fight. Can I avoid that fight? I can, actually. Wow, okay. I did a smart thing, and I appreciate it. Okay, so I can head into that area, but I would have to fight fight. Am I comfortable with that right now? Yes, but, like, should I? Probably not, but... Hmm... It's like, I know a lot of you guys are like, you have money, what are you doing? It's like, uh, I don't want to waste it. I want to save it. If I can save it for, um, for, uh, four stores at the end of the game, that would be much better. But, I mean, I guess it's fair. I mean, the, here's what I'm saving it for. I'll be honest. I'm saving it for the four stores at the end of the game. That is number one. Or the other option, the other thought process of saving it is for lock-on on a horn drilling Del Caddy to make it just auto two turn auto scroll or two turn kill Pokemon and I mean I think both instances both things are totally valid for their own given reasons so yeah I'm not I I still don't feel the most comfortable going into that spot though and I'm gonna have to backtrack and come back anyways Den to Mill Town. Hi, Shady. How are you? Uh, how have you been? How is your journey going, by the way? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well. I met all kinds of Pokemon. All kinds of people. And loved every bit of it. But because of my adventures, I'm an expert at cafes all over the Kalos region. Do you remember the Shysel? The, the Pokemon Shysel mentioned? Yeah, of course I do, because Shysel's amazing. Oh, yeah, that's all. According to the material, it's who those who saw it were overwhelmed by its power. And that is the Pokemon that resembles the letter Y. So apparently, Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan is said to be a thousand years, and when it reaches the end of its life, it steals all the spirits around it. Oh, a thousand years? That's like... Not infinite. What a terrible legendary. It's supposed to be infinite. Do you not know that? Like, you know, infinitely is good. I'm gonna say, oh, ooh, actually, that's a good question if you had the opportunity to live for an infinite amount of time would you take that opportunity i would not let's be honest i like the concept of morality um and sometimes a little bit too much so no i i would not uh if i had the option to live forever i would i would pass it up no not not for me dog no 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 nope and uh again did i say no like, I'm hard-pressed on the answer of no. Well, and the other thing is I'm taking up space in the population, right? That's my other thought process. Oh, I mean, that's true, though. Like, I'm taking, I'm a number, essentially, then in a population that is already in interesting territory, to say the least. And I don't, I don't need to be the one carrying another number. Like, again, I don't see the point or the value in that singular number, so... I can see where people would be like, wow, I can't believe you think that. But, like, also, it is, like, we're not meant to live forever. And I like that we're not meant to live forever. So, it's a tough realization and it's a tough thing to think about. But, I mean, that's why, that that's what should give you the drive, the the want, and the, like, motivation to just do 
do things. Do what you can in the time that you have. Because if you have infinite time, then you're going to become more lackadaisical. And some people are... Oh, I forgot. The... <laughs> ah! I forgot. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bash you in front of you. I mean, I guess technically... Technically, if I am okay with saying it to their face, that's a good thing, okay? I'm doing the right thing by saying it to his face rather than, like, actually? But yeah, no, I would actually say it, like, straight up. Like, some people are a lot, very lackadaisical and do, do things too lackadaisically. Um, because there's nothing that they need to strive for, and, like, there's wants, but there's nothing that they need to strive for. Like, and I guess that's a big thing. Like, with my degree, and the reason why I think I am val I place a lot of value on my degree is that I know it'll help me in a lot of ways, in a lot of aspects, but I also am aware of the, like, the, um, the repercussions of not, you know? Like, and there's a lot of them, so, yeah. So, it's one of those situations, I think. I honestly also think that I might be doing a big bad, but we're going to try our hardest not to commit the big bad, because I feel like... Oh, that was actually really good until I messed it up. <laughs> good job, B. Also a typical me thing. That was really good until I messed up. Like, of course it would be really good until you messed up. That's the point of messing up. But. Oh, boy. Okay. I want it to be diagonally done. Oh, frick. I got it right, and then I messed up. Come on. Do it diagonally the way it's supposed to be. Look at me go. It's an ice puzzle, and I'm doing this. Oh, yeah, that's right. We get an encounter. <laughs> Duh. Um, him on top. Do I want it? No. Should I catch it? Yes. But do I want it? No. Um, also don't know what level. I didn't expect... I thought that this was going to be a lot, like, more of a trek. So I might have just improperly leveled. Um, but I'm okay. Right? Nothing bad could possibly happen. You know, I'm looking this up, honestly. We have to fight... Not easy. So, uh, I'm looking this up. <laughs> There's no... There was... Okay, let's be honest. Y'all knew there was no way I wasn't looking into this, right? Like, y'all knew that from the get-go. Frost Cavern Admin Battle. <laughs> I dropped my controller and that could have cost me. Why well, I just won't want to work? That's fine too, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're good. Well, we're gonna nail this. Okay. Frost Cavern Admin Battle. Pokemon X and Y. There we go. Although it's IGN, which is really not a good site for this kind of stuff. Gosh dang it. My Google fails me. My Google's been failing me a lot more lately and I hate it. Pokemon X and Y Frost Cavern. I don't want to look up the levels of the people other than the admin. But I guess technically, if I fought somebody, I would know if I'm under level or not. But I don't want to do it that way. That would be too bad. You know? Like, I could mess myself up big time doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Kalos. Why was it saying, like, floor two of Jonah? Freaking! Gosh, diggity darn dang it, dude. Why does everything want to be stupid? And super dumb. Okay. Okay, trainers, you know, that that's a thing that I wouldn't look for. Um, outside, level 44. Okay, that's not a, that shouldn't be a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. Phone, why, dude, phone, why are you being absolute garbage? Okay, 48, there. 48 times 1.15. 48 times 1.15 is 55.2. What the, f what is with this game? Dude. Please explain what is with this game and the admin leaders being higher level than the freaking gym leader. Can somebody explain? Because this is actually high-key triggering. Like, again, the 
the level cap that I wanted to go in with a gym at is 55. But like this chick is literally level 55. And she's gonna be 55 across the board because she has one Pokemon. So all the inserted Pokemon are level 55 as well. What the actual Like she is technically much higher level than the gym leader. That is a problem. That is an inherent problem with X and Y. The, the gym leaders are literally lower level than the admin leaders that you fight before the gyms. I'm sorry, but that triggers the crap out of me. And I know that I'm about to go to bed and I'm gonna go to bed like talking about how triggered I am at this game, but I can't control it, okay? I can't control the fact that I'm triggered by a simple thing. Um, I'm gonna name you Simpleton because freaking I'm triggered. <laughs> oh, Simpleton, I mean, Ugh. Aggravating is all hackles. Like, I can't even... I might as well just go back. Because I don't think I can do anything. Oh! This is why you don't do things out of haste. You know. Da, 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 da. I mean, to... Oh, God. Frostlass? Frostlass? Fro words. Frostlass and Bufalot. There we go. My golly gee Whitakers, can I actually talk today? Well, we need the answer to note to begin with, but... Okay, it's a double battle. I don't like the setup that I've got with uh, Bufalon. I'm gonna go into KD. I think that's a smarter play here. Yeah, that's a smarter play here, I think. I don't think I'm gonna get hit with, like... Realistically, I don't think that I should be getting hit by anything. Because I think that I take it out instantly... Well, I would, you see, if I actually hit the Frost last, that's now free shocking into oblivion. Oh my gosh. And I don't know who it's attacking into. An ominous wind is going to do nothing, but like, oh, that's bad. Okay. Diamond Storm, I guess. And do I dare take this? Not with KD's life. No way am I taking this. You know what? You're right. Ah, no, I'm slower, actually. Really? That was literally like a waste, because I freaking Garatina had to miss this stupid thing. Also, both of them are weak to this Free Shock, but Free Shock's physical, and I I trust Garatina to be able to murder this. Oh my god, Garatina, you didn't murder it. Well, I'm glad I did the smart thing. It missed. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? Game, can we stop? Oh my god, game. Game, I would like you to casually explain what I did wrong and what I did to deserve this. Because this is a mess and a half that I don't think I deserve, but okay. Dragon Pulse, that's gonna do a decent chunk of singular targeting. It still didn't even kill. Shadow Ball. Can we not crit? Game! Game, we need to talk. We seriously... Dude, and you lived on one, and you had charged into Garatina. Oh, no, you didn't. They both lived on one, excuse me? Oh, my God. Well, Garatina's slowly becoming the, the oldest member of the party. Woo! Dude, actually, that what sucks about that is I gotta send him Pincushion Cat now. Because Pincushion Cat needs to be there in case anything goes wrong with Giratina. Wow. Just wow. Honestly. Head Charge just absolutely annihilated me. And now I have another Pokemon to train up. Yes, we stand. We really do stand the handyman. How, how does Frostlass manage this insane luck? Okay, this Frostlass should not have ever gotten close to managing what it just managed. But okay, like, oh, I was at plus one, so that's how Head Charge and or it was at plus one, so that's how Head Charge annihilated. But I'm, gl I mean, I'm glad I, again, Pincushion Cat's out here saving lives that I didn't think that Pincushion Cat would have to save. But okay, Pincushion Cat, I guess, I guess you can do you today.
But yeah, that's a perfect time spot to end the episode. So we're gonna have to train anyway, and now we have a, a big thing we have to train. Um, which, to be honest, I don't think that there's anything that they can do right now from this point. Like, because. <laughs> I mean, I could see. This seems like a terrible idea. Cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was that was the other trainer, wasn't it? Cause this girl is a healer. This this chick is a healer chick. That was the only fight I had to do. The literal only fight that I had to do. I lost Pokemon on. Are you kidding me right now? The only fight. The only one. Wow. Absolute wow. Utter wow. Like. What the f game? Like why? What what was the what was the point in killing my tentacle there? Like I want to know, like genuinely want to know what the point of that was. And you know what I should do? Oh wait, no, that's that's a dumb idea. You know what I should do? Just make like a chart of every combination of deaths that could actually happen. <laughs> yeah, no, no, John. I mean, I could do that for like the one Pokemon deaths. That would make sense, honestly. That would. That, honestly, yeah, no, that would. That would kind of make sense, but not at the same time, I guess. But yeah, let's go to our box. <laughs> Apparently, we have to figure out... Again, we're on Death's Row. I talked about it a bunch of times. This is the gauntlet, and of course we'd lose the... Again, Pincushion Cat's going to stay alive this entire time, but nobody else will, apparently. Okay, organize boxes, because we can only... Okay, I should be able to add magic, though. Look at this death box art. Magic is not a bad idea. Magic's not a bad bring. Um, I, I don't know if it is, is or isn't. Gluttony plus serious is not bad. I mean, it's fire type. But then we lose out on the precious water. We don't even have much in the way of precious water, though. Like, that's a big thing. That's our only precious water type left. So, like, is it actually usable? Or would it be better for us to go with another poison type in Bollywood? <sighs> Honestly, Bollywood is not a bad... I, that doesn't seem like a terrible idea. It's not the ground weakness, but are we okay with that? Not really. We're not quite at a high enough level for this to evolve, or else that would be the option. I think that would be the better option if I was at a high enough level to evolve, but I'm not quite there yet. Um... I mean, this is another possibility. Oh, you have a sketch too. Ah, oh, that's another. It's another big possibility, actually. But like, because it's another poison type that'll help us significantly against the fairy types that would cause problems otherwise. We don't have anything that would be super effective against it anymore, even though we haven't been really running into them. It's still good to have. Oh, we could get Mega Gyarados. We have both Charizards and Gardevoir. <coughs> yeah. 
I think, honestly, by virtue of... That's a... Our box is awkward. I hate it. I love hate it. I love hate that our box is awkward. I also love hate that we have to utilize it already. Like, you guys didn't... Like, that was... I, I think any Pokemon was dying there, not gonna lie, but... Ooh. Why is organized boxes actually way better? Hmm. What is a big weakness that our team has? Let's give it some thought because a big weakness that our let's see, ghost. But two are two are three are immune. Here's the thing though with Ghost. We can't effectively take it on. Like, even though we have a lot of immunities, we can't effectively take on a ghost type. So that might have to be our our question. What can take on a ghost type? Uh, that's why Frostlast was giving us troubles, which allowed the, th the Buffalon to give us leeway. Buffalon should not have given us that many issues, except, like I said, except the Frostlast was the problem. It wasn't really the Buffalon. Um, ice is not too terrible, but we have two Pokemon weak to it. Flying is not a problem at all. Bug is not a problem at all. Fire... Fire's minimally a problem. Dragon. Dragon's rough, but we have Ice Punch now. Um. Hmm. Honestly. Yeah. I think our newest addition, our, uh, our Rapidash is going to be the play here. We have another horse-like Pokemon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!